Hi, I'm a mortal mage, creator of Prism. Thanks for joining me today. I'm glad to see that you've either decided to pick up the device or you're just looking into it and figuring out how it works. Either way, let's get started. So one of the first things you're going to want to do when you open up Prism is add it to your preferred audio unit host. Prism is a MIDI sequencer that works within, you know, audio unit host. It doesn't have a standalone version yet. So we're going to go, I'm using AUM, and I'm going to add Prism. Now you need to add audio instruments to connect to Prism. It's a MIDI sequencer. It doesn't produce any sound on its own. So we're going to start by adding Recife, a drum machine by chord. Whenever you add an audio unit, you're going to want to connect it to Prism. To do that, I'll select it as the MIDI input source, and I'm going to filter the channel to the track that I'm going to use on Prism to control Recife. So now I'm going to open up Prism. I'm going to start a new song, and because this is a drum track, I'm going to select drum track. This pulls up my drum profile mode. I can go through here and look at my pre-saved and default templates for common drum uh, machines on iOS devices. So here's Recife. I can then go to my sequencer, and now I can control, play, lay down, and start doing all the fun things that allow you to create an interesting groove and pattern. So very simply, that's how we add a drum track. Let's take a look at how we add an audio unit track. I'm going to close out Prism here. I'm going to go and add uh, Phoenix, a simple poly synth, also from Chord. I'm going to connect it to Prism, and this time I'm going to filter the channel to track 2, as track 1 is controlling Recife. I can then go back to Prism, and I'm going to click here to get into my track select mode and go to track 2. I'll then go back to my sequencer and select tonal track. I can now play any notes on the keypad, and you'll hear them controlling Phoenix synth. I can then lay down some notes and press play and you'll hear that. So very simply, that's the very first steps to using Prism. You add it to your audio unit host, you add your uh, audio units, you connect them, you always make sure to filter the channels so that you have one track controlling one channel, um, and then you start playing. So tune in next time and we'll take a look in more detail at how the drum sequencer works. Thanks.